Hello everyone! Today I have the process of this little rosy maple moth painting to share with you. I actually forgot to record painting the little pink background, but I figured it's not too interesting anyway, it's just kind of covering the canvas. I did it in two different layers too, so it kind of taken a little bit of time to get through, but I am working on top of a little sketch that I did really fast in Colorace pencil, and I am actually not very familiar with anything that I used here. I don't often use canvas. I find it's a little bit a little bit tricky to work with and I really prefer working with something smooth with acrylics a lot of the time, but a box canvas can be really satisfying in the way that it kind of presents itself in the end. And I've also never painted a moth or any bugs really, I don't think. I'm pretty sure I've never painted any like butterflies or moths or anything like with wings like this. I've painted wings like this onto like figure work but never just straight up bug. And um, rosy maple moths are super pretty so I wanted to make something with some really pretty wings on this little canvas. I thought it would make a really nice little little package once it was done, you know. I'm also not very familiar with acrylics themselves. I feel like over time I've gained a little more confidence in working with them and a little bit more of an idea of the way that I like to create certain visual effects, but they still feel very elusive to me. But luckily, I feel like they're also something that's very versatile and forgiving in the way that they're so opaque and you can really work with them in a lot of different ways and it's not super duper important how you get to your end result, unlike some other mediums but I had a lot of fun working with them and kind of just playing around with the little variations in tone that I wanted. And this ended up being a pretty simple subject to take on. I, when I first picked it out, I thought it was gonna be a little bit complicated to like portray the way that the wings look and the way that like the fur looks and everything, just because I don't usually do those kind of textures. But I ended up finding that it was a pretty straightforward process and it didn't take me very long either, so I was able to make this footage pretty slow. So I find it kind of nice uh, the way that it kind of builds up. Although my process could have been a little more streamlined in the way that I approached things, I imagine, but I think it ended up working out pretty well. Because I work with people, and figures and faces so much. I always find something really peaceful about working on like a non-human subject and just looking at the thing that I'm painting, that I'm referencing, and not seeing any faces in it kind of feels, something about it feels a little more like alone, but not lonely necessarily, but like, it's kind of nice to just be like it's you with your work instead of when you're working with faces and with people I don't know if anyone else feels this, this way I feel like it's like like a human brain thing but it feels like it feels like there's a person there with you and I often paint my faces last too so I find that when I've painted the entire painting I've been alone the whole time kind of working on building a person and then once I put in the face, it's like I'm not alone anymore. Does, does anyone else feel that way? I don't know if it's just me, but I always find something really calming about painting something not human from a reference, especially environments and stuff. But there's something really nice about like uh, a living creature that's non-human as well. Like this little moth is like, it's got a whole like, animals and bugs and stuff they got like a whole little consciousness but it's so different than ours so it's like something alive but it's not something that feels like you have to communicate with it at all again I don't know if I'm the only one who feels this way about painting people but I do enjoy a good old non-human subject every now and then I like painting things that are like really small and simple too like this could be really contained into a small little shape, but a lot of what I do is full body work because I love drawing bodies, but 
it's it's quite complicated <laughs> to work on the whole painting and like especially if you're doing it from a reference like there's so many like, different tones and areas to work on and working on this was was quite nice there was only a couple of things really to work on and it feels really nice and simple and really satisfying at the end I feel like it also creates a really nice balance in a body of work to sometimes have things that don't include any people in them and I would love to start including more non-human living things into my paintings with humans. I've been doing it a little bit more but I would love to do more things with wings. I really love the imagery of wings and what they can represent and everything visually in a person's mind and I would love to do more winged bugs especially. I feel like birds are like the visual of bird wings is really complicated and complex and detailed so I do find them really really beautiful but they kind of intimidate me to paint but I would love to do more bugs. At this point, I'm pretty much finished with the little moth. I'm just adding these little lines, which I really enjoy. And I think I add a little bit more highlights as well. And I think they really kind of make the moth. But I'm just going in and doing the little background parts. I didn't plan out this painting too much as far as the other things that would be included. I think I originally imagined purple for the background, but then once I picked more specifically the rosy maple moth i really wanted to make it like all super pink and i also ended up doing it only with magenta white and yellow just those three tubes of paint so i kind of wanted to keep it nice and like contained to those colors and here in the background i'm just doing like kind of blending out the little darker marks that i made a little bit the darker marks are the pure magenta paint that I used. And now just going in and adding some white. And I really like the way that the white ended up looking around the moth. I think that turned out really nice. The highlights are always kind of the most satisfying part to add. They're like, it's so nice to see them go on. One of my favorite things about doing this is just like getting to see all of the colors right in front of me like whether I'm painting or working with paints like like cleaning up my palette whatever it is like all this prep work you have to do when you work with traditional paints or packaging orders of my prints and stickers and stuff it always makes me really really happy to have the colors in front of me so I always think it's really fun to watch the highlights go on and I always want to share it with people too. So I'm really happy that there's this new wave of like bite-sized videos, like 15 second videos, because I always find that really satisfying to watch. And here is the finished painting. This is it with the varnish on as well. And thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. And if you did enjoy, I would really appreciate if you liked and subscribed so you could see more. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.